Blue Financial Services is a pan-African financial services group with operations in 12 African countries and 220 branches, which were founded by Dave Fanikak and listed in 2006. After a dramatic run-up to 6 rand 70 per share in 2008, it crashed to 10 cents per share in 2010. Private equity company Maibuye Group rescued Blue in 2010 and now has a 51% stake in the company. The group has a market cap of 2.5 billion rand and a price-to-earnings ratio of 0.4. Blue Financial mm. Services. Can yes. this be a big recovery story going forward? I mean, obviously, we've seen it come crashing mm. down. We've seen a bit of a recovery. But is it, is it headed for traction down the line? Look, these businesses fail not because they, uh, you know, make tactical errors. They fail because they get to a point where their ability to write new sales is constrained by their ability to raise money. So we talked earlier about how African Bank raises money and it's now gone global. We talked about uh, Capitec. Blue basically crashed because in the 2008 period, they had all sorts of patchy sources of funding. They started growing into new countries every other week. Dave was announcing some sort of a launch. They let corporate costs go totally out of line. They were buying businesses every other week. They got too excited about the average. They were writing story, business, which, which you know, proved hard to collect. And so the whole machine basically uh, ground to a halt. Uh, Mayubuye has backing from Old Mutual. So they're kind of a credible player. But this thing is still on life support. They have many more outstanding uh, loans than they have assets. So in other words, they have liabilities in excess of their assets. They have a program which they're busy discussing, which is to convert some of their outstanding credit suppliers' loans into equity. So you know, at that point, the shareholding could change completely. So buying them here, quite risky. Share price, where are we on blue? Trading at uh, 44 cents, and I think it actually got as low as 2 cents, not 10 cents. So the company literally almost went under, um, and Mayibuya Group, of course, came in and turned the whole business around. They very, very strongly um, turned around a whole new strategy, implemented a new strategy in terms of cost efficiencies and operational improvements, which really worked. In fact, they've actually, um, I don't think it's a question, will they turn things around? They have actually already have turned things around. They actually turned a 284 million rand loss. Uh, about a year and a half ago into the most previous results they reported a 22, rand, 22 million rand profit. So things are already looking better. As Paul said though, the big issue here is uh, raising uh, cash or, or getting investors to give their money to further on lend it to, to customers and that seems to be quite a problem. Still a lot of problems in terms of there's uh, quite a few lawsuits outstanding uh, within the business whereby they don't know how those will end up, don't know the value either, so there's quite a lot of risk still with the business. Is it on its last legs? It doesn't sound like a very positive story. You I, say I, the turnaround has I don't, happened. I don't think it's on its last legs. I think that I think the issue here is uh, more the fact that they are competing in a heavily competitive market, um, and Capitec and Able are really just you know got their hands on the whole market. We're running and out of time on this one. for Blue Financial Services. So, so your thoughts, and then give me hot Look, or it's not. still got loan advances of around six, seven hundred million rand, and it's got the ability to collect in part on some of that. So it's too big to be let run adrift. Whether it's going to be a good idea as a minority shareholder to get in here is a secondary issue. So I'm afraid, even at forty-six cents, too many unknowns and unknowables. So not hot for me. Not hot, Daniel. Um, as a conservative play, definitely not hot. As a punt, taking a view on the economy, and if you feel that that could happen to the turnaround strategy com continues to to go well as it has, as a punt, maybe hot, as a small investment. 